so we are discussing lecture number 5 so here we are trying to understand how self is central to human existence <coughs> and body is an instrument of the self so if you see we are recapitulating what we have discussed so far and slightly going uh, more than it so we can see clearly that human being is coexistence of self and body the needs are different activities are different the response is different so i am a conscious entity and the body is a material entity this part is clear any question regarding this because you all have to conduct sessions so a uh, lot many questions can be asked isn't it <laughs> so whatever question occurs to you we can discuss here okay and for workshop is going to be you know much much higher so <laughs> we all have to develop as resource persons <laughs> yes <laughs> yes so we have to be clear to listen to the proposal so that i can grasp the proposal as it is so getting to the meaning of words whatever is being said second thing is to analyze the proposal in detail so that the meanings are clear the proposal is clear and i am able to see the reality and vis a vis the proposal and the third is to observe it as it is isn't it that may take some time but unless we try to observe it only remains at the level of imagination it does not become a part of our understanding so here we are in uhv3 to understand it to observe it isn't it and we shall also be doing the exercises 1 and 2 so we can see that the uh, being of self and body is marked differently by the activity of assuming if you look at the activity so the assuming is there in the self not the body isn't it can you see this that i assume it's not the body that assumes and i try to know not the body isn't it now this is something that we discuss in exercise 2 also we'll discuss it here also so if you look at the transaction of the self and body the self is giving some instruction to the body for example get up walk etc and the self is reading some sensation from the body sensation of pain itching etc we can make it itching you know so that correction can be done so instruction is an information given by the self and sensation information received by the self there is no transaction any material transaction between self and the body it is only in the form of information so the decision is always there in the self to send instruction or to read sensation can we see this isn't it so i read the sensation decisively i decide to read it and then only i read it so we can see like in front of our eyes there could be so many things isn't it when i open my eyes there could be n number of things in front of my eyes but if i want to meet someone and i am looking for that person i see only that person i do not see you know other things in fact when you are in a zoom meeting then there is an option to fade other things <laughs> we see like that only <laughs> we fade other things and see only that person who we want to see <laughs> isn't it so if somebody asks how many air conditioners are there in this room if it is not important to us we don't remember isn't it but if a particular person is there in this room or not we do remember for so the decision for every transaction is made by the self and this is something that has been discussed so i am the seer i am the doer i am the enjoyer or experiencer this part is clear completely so seer means the one who sees or understands so i think this has been discussed by ganesh ji i am the doer doer means the one that does who takes the decision to do and enjoyer means the one that experiences happiness or unhappiness so i am the one that feels enthused or depressed i am the one that feels angry or delighted i am the enjoyer the experiencer so these three 
words put together now we'll talk about two blocks in na, the self block b1 and block b2 so the sear is block b1 the higher activity of the self in this block is the main sear so even if block b1 is not awakened you know we are still the sear so we are trying to awaken the sear isn't it so it is written as the main sear it means even if it is not awakened we see but it is at the level of imagination only it is not at the level of knowing so it is able to see the reality a unit say a tree for example in relationship harmony and coexistence which is the essence which is definite universal and continuous so we'll talk about five aspects of the reality so now there is something which is definite universal and continuous so if you look at the relationship that is the natural characteristic of any unit i am able to see it at the level of contemplation so if you look at the five dimensions of a unit it is form property relationship harmony and coexistence form means for example if you talk about yeah shape size density all these make the form property means effect of one unit on another unit so this is not something universal this changes from time to time this is not continuous also this is temporary isn't it but the natural characteristic or the relationship is something which is continuous so when we are using that seeing here it is in terms of seeing the relationship the natural characteristic seeing the harmony the innateness and seeing the submergence the coexistence so block b1 is the seer here because this is something to know knowing is here so knowing is there in block b1 we'll talk about it when we open up the diagram doer b2 activities in the imagination of the block the self in this block is the doer it recognizes its relationship with other units and works out the details of how to fulfill this relationship thinking of planning so planning programming implementing and all these things are done by block b2 so there i am the doer and if you look at the enjoyer both b1 and b2 now here also if you look at doer so in the self i have the state activity as well as the dynamic activity so if you look at the dynamism as the doer it is there in block b1 as well as block b2 but here we are talking about planning and programming then it comes to block b2 we'll discuss in detail enjoyer is block b1 and b2 both so it enjoys super bliss bliss satisfaction peace and happiness at the level of realization understanding contemplation comparing and testing so look into all these details with a diagram so this is the diagram so i think now we have been discussing this in uh, uhv2 also slightly and we are also discussing this in the morning sessions so it is not something completely new to us but we can discuss about these activities and we'll discuss these activities in module 2 in detail also but we'll take up here also so when i look at myself i can see that i have these many activities so this block b1 is the seer the one who knows now here i have the activities of realization authentication understanding determination contemplation in block b2 i have the activities of imaging comparing analyzing testing and selecting and if you look at the two kinds of activities here we have the state activities here we have the dynamic activities the state activities means whatever happens here gets stated within so i come to know isn't it i come to see so i am able to see the relationship it gets stated here in contemplation i able to see the harmony it gets stated here in uh, understanding i able to see the submergence it gets stated here in realization now the dynamism or the dynamic activity is the decision making related to that so now going from bottom to top at some point of time i am able to see the whole existence as coexistence this is realization so i am able to see that nature is there space is there the whole nature is submerged in space and that essentially means that i am able to see that every unit in this nature is self organized self energized and recognizing its relationship with other units being in space so this is the gist of all that i come to see now here i have realized the whole existence as coexistence now all these activities are not going to be guided by this 
so this is an authentication in me now unless i have been able to see this the activities are not complete when i come to see this it gets authenticated in terms of all these activities getting complete completely developed so this is authentication understanding means to see the harmony in the nature so i can see that there are four orders in nature and these four orders are mutually fulfilling to each other when i am able to see this completely then naturally the decision to live is there in accordance with that so whenever i have to live with any of the orders it is based on this understanding so the decision is related to this somebody is talking i think so the decision is related to this you know that is the determination this yes okay i'll come to that <laughs> yes now this determination is different from what we generally use you know this word for in our day to day life <clears throat> so i'm determined to cross you know upsc examination this year this is not determination this is a decision that i have made in <laughs> block b2 maybe at the level of selecting and testing only so that is not deter determination here what we are using is the natural determination that means once i am able to see that all the units in the nature are fulfilling to each other my every thought my every feeling is in terms of mutual fulfillment this natural decision in me to be accordance with in accordance with the harmony of the nature is determination so it is not something to be taken up separately contemplation is to see the real see the relationship of one unit with another unit so for example when we talk about the human human relationship so i am able to contemplate on the feeling of trust i am able to see very naturally that i as a self want to be happy want to make the other happy and the same thing holds true for the other isn't it i am able to see that i have the same purpose program and potential as the other and we are complementary to each other so this is contemplation now once this gets contemplated in me that decision in me to live accordingly so i image in accordance with that no longer do i image to dominate over others to overpower others to exploit others for the sake of happiness assuming it to be happiness my now every imaging is in terms of fulfilling the relationship my every imaging is now in terms of living in harmony my every imaging is now in terms of living in coexistence so this is a natural outcome so this arrow indicates that now that if this seer is activated then the block b2 is guided this red arrow is the guidance so i image accordingly i compare between various alternatives accordingly yet there could be various bases of comparing you right? know for example if i have to transact with someone one basis for comparing could be profit how should i transact with the other so that i get more and the other gets less this could be there earlier now when i transact it is in terms of mutual happiness and mutual prosperity so my thought process has transformed now when i have to select some food for me earlier it could be for the taste for the food from the food now the selection is going to be in terms of utilizing this body as an instrument so my comparing gets transformed you know every time i am thinking analyzing and comparing you know in terms of fulfilling the body fulfilling the rest of nature fulfilling the other human being so i analyze accordingly now there are two words analysis and synthesis so synthesis means bringing things together analysis analyze analyzing analyzing means or analysis means breaking them into parts so in my thought process all the time i am analyzing so for example if i remember some situation i analyze the situation by breaking into multiple parts maybe when i am sitting here i get reminded of my family so this family comes as a single you know image in me now that image gets split into multiple images my spouse is there child is there home is there parents are there friends are there so many things now how does it happen so this family now gets split into multiple images a single image of family this is analyzing so all the time we are doing this if you look at your thought process something occurs to you and gets further analyzed and then when it gets further split into multiple images you pick a certain particular image and then you again start analyzing that particular image 
now in your family you get reminded of your child and then you start imaging about the child the child's looks you know the child's voice the child's actions okay other things related to the child so this is something as a continuous process in me so some image is there in me for happiness i keep on analyzing that image for happiness now with right understanding i analyze with happiness and i also keep on comparing for example now that you have to plan for the future of your child earlier it could be to make the child the topper in the class the most superior person in the society and so on now it is in terms of making the child with a person with right understanding right feeling so your comparing has now got transformed so now that when you image the future of the child and analyze it it is not in terms of you know earlier preconditionings it is now in terms of ensuring that the child is going to lead a happy and prosperous life so for that the right understanding has to be ensured whenever i analyze i have a taste associated with it whatever i analyze if you analyze food you have a taste associated if you analyze a friend there is a taste associated if you analyze your home there is a taste associated isn't it whatever you analyze there is a taste associated with it so this analysis and comparing takes place together and there is always a taste associated with this now you pick a particular part of that image and then go further to analyze what is that that is selecting so within me i am always selecting something to which i relate happiness to which i relate prosperity all the time i am doing this in me so if you look at this imagination and analyze this particular imagination then you can see that all these activities are associated with it and this is something which is going on in me continuously now sometimes i select to express it outside sometimes i select not to express outside most of the time i do not express it outside i am just doing something within me so when i express outside in the body is involved for example you know so maybe some itching sensation is there in the body i am ignoring it it's okay and it keeps on happening but at times i also scratch it so there my body is involved now when i am relating to the other human being i am expressing my feeling to the other human being then the other human being is also involved similarly if you look at the work i am sometimes interacting with the rest of nature sometimes i am not isn't it and similarly i am participating in the larger order this way or that way is this clear any question with this so here you can see that both b1 and b2 are the enjoyer so here also there is happiness here also there is happiness now there are different states of happiness happiness at the level of expectation is termed as happiness it means there is definiteness of selecting and testing at the level of thought when there is definiteness i am free of any kind of contradiction conflict dilemma then i enjoy peace in me isn't it here at the level of desire when my desires are definite they are no longer dictated by any preconditioning any kind of borrowed notion but rather they are based on the contemplation of right feeling then i have satisfaction in me okay so that is definiteness of desire within the self which is again there as a part of continuous happiness similarly when i understand the whole nature as being fulfilling you know like the whole all the entities in the nature being fulfilled to each other then i am able to see that yes this is what i you know i am in i am a part of this harmonious nature this is the state of bliss and when i am able to see the whole nature submerged in space this is called a super bliss so i am enjoying super bliss bliss satisfaction peace and happiness within me now here what is happening when the block b1 is not activated and we are only active at the level of block b2 then i am happy but at times i am peaceful but at times i feel satisfied sometimes sometimes dissatisfied because the higher level activities are not activated once they are activated there is continuity here theek i use so many words right now let us discuss <laughs> what all is clear what is not clear so seer is block b1 doer is b2 and enjoyer is both b1 and b2 that is the experiencer we'll talk about this so anything which is not clear 
जी टेक द माइक जी फल गिव एन एग्जाम्पल है ना एंड देन विल डिस्कस इट yeah i i want to get clarity in authentication and determination see the authentication is the decision related to realization determination the decision related to understanding in very plain words this is it right is the decision related to realization in me decision in me determination the decision in me related to understanding now right understanding if you see all this put together is right understanding so in hindi it is written as both now if you look at right understanding we call it sahi samajh so like we are trying to locate the you know precise words so we could find understanding only related to both so that's why we have written it as understanding some other word can also be used so here when we are saying understanding it is to see the harmony in the nature now how it relates to me you know now we have to start letting you to oneself so now this diagram will explain then i will explain other words also yes <laughs> so presently we are doing something here presently we are doing something here now when i reach this state of realization right i am able to see that space is there which is all pervading everywhere inside a unit outside a unit it is there everywhere and every unit is there in space now at the level of thought also we are able to see that yes space cannot have limits isn't it every unit is going to be there in space but is this something that i am analyzing at the level of thought now when i come to see this naturally that space is there everywhere i am there in space every unit is there in space and space which is no activity is at the base of every activity being in space every unit that is activity is self organized you know that is it is taking place in a definite manner it is self energized the unit continues the unit does not vanish and every unit is recognizing its relationship with every other unit so for example now if you look at this building if you look at the building it is a unit isn't it this building is also active its activity if you look at the molecules and atom that every brick is made of so every atom and molecule is active it is self organized if you make it in a particular fashion it is going to be there we are very sure that this roof is not going to fall hai na we are sitting peacefully here so all these units in the building are self organized if they are placed in a particular manner they will sustain like if the base is wider and the building is made on that then it is going to sustain if the building has that base as a pin pointed you know <laughs> something cone and you make a building you try to put a building like a cone here it is fall down it is self organized so this building is self organized every unit of the building is active it is self energized also activity means energy the self energized also nobody is pumping energy into it isn't it it is interacting with other units also so this building is interacting with the earth the earth is interacting with the building and the building is there very much so there is a definite law with which this building is there the existence of the building is there now this building is just one unit in the entire nature similarly our body is there your body is there all these things are there now if you look at it you can see that every unit like our body is self organized we had lunch we just put something in the mouth with our hands rest is being taken care of again we will feel hungry by 8 o'clock <laughs> it will get digested by that time it is working in a self organized manner it is energized also so it's only that the energy goes up or down so when we took food we got some energy from the food the body got energy from the food now we are having some discussion here and we are you know utilizing the energy of the body after some time the body gets you know less energy the energy is used so we again try to you know provide energy to the body through food but if you look at every cell of the body it is self energized only that energy goes up and down if you look at the space 
space is equilibrium energy that is also energy but that is at the base of every relative energy which is there in the unit so the energy goes up or down but it is self energized every cell of the body every atom and molecule of the body is self energized and it is participating so every cell of the body is participating with other cells of the body so if you look at the organs in the body they are coordinating together the lungs the heart the kidney the liver isn't it now in a single body part also they are coordinating with each other so they are recognizing the relations even fulfilling it now just try to see how this happening how this happening so this is happening by itself there is no organizer for this this is self organized there is no energizer for this this is self energized this is happening being submerged in space so what i am able to see for the body i am able to see for all the entities in the nature i am able to see this for myself also when i look at myself i can see that i am self energized self organized i am also uh, fulfilling my relationship with other units recognizing relationship it's only that when i get developed to the extent that block b1 is activated <coughs> my recognition is definite otherwise it is not definite i am self energized i am also self organized in a way that whenever i have some thought of opposition i feel unhappy when i have thought of relationship i feel happy any time i have thought of disharmony i feel unhappy i feel uncomfortable when i think in terms of harmony i am comfortable how is it happening i have some natural acceptance in me which decides what is right for me what is not right for me now this natural acceptance is a reflection of this coexistence in me so that is being self organized now the material units if you see they do not have the activity of assuming or knowing i have so i come to assume wrongly but the moment i wrongly assume i get unhappy this is being self organized so you look at the conscious unit you look at the material unit we can see how every unit being in space is self energized you know self organized and recognizing the fulfilling recognizing the relationship and fulfilling it so this is something which i am able to see for the whole nature and nature doesn't mean this planet there are so many celestial bodies in this whole existence all these bodies if you see how come the earth is rotating on its axis how come the earth is revolving around the sun how come the sun is also doing some similar activity how come all these things are taking place in a such a self organized manner what is there at the base these inquiries have been there in us you know and we have been trying to find the root i the cause behind all this when we are not able to see the reality we associate some assumption there and when i am able to see the reality i am in a state of super bliss so i am able to see the reality as the whole nature being submerged in space this is realization now when i am able to see this naturally my all activities are being guided by this only no longer i am carrying any assumption in me which is other than this my whole assuming is now guided by this knowing this is authentication i can see this for my body i can see this for this building i can see this for any unit in the nature that this is it this is the way it is now like when i am able to see this my understanding gets complete so earlier i had been trying to understand the harmony in the nature and i could see that there are four orders in nature which are fulfilling to each other now i had a question in me that how come all these four orders are mutually fulfilling to each other how is it happening with realization i am able to see the basis for this so this understanding gets complete now when this understanding gets complete the determination in me is there to live accordingly isn't it why should i think anything otherwise when the whole nature is there in harmony the moment i think of disharmony i am in problem so why should i create unhappiness for me it comes naturally to me every moment i am thinking in terms of fulfilling the harmony with human being and the rest of nature so this is a natural determination here in me now with this the contemplation gets complete so i started by looking at relationship between one self and the other self i started by contemplating on trust respect affection and i could see the feeling of love but still the basis for all these feelings was not clear so if you see all these feelings the relationship are merely a reflection of coexistence when i am able to realize the whole existence as coexistence the basis for all these feelings becomes clear to me 
like when I say trust, I want to be happy, I want to make the other happy. What does it mean? I am in coexistence with you. Isn't it? I am also self-organized, you are also self-organized, only that we are not able to see it. The moment I see it, I live accordingly. So I can never have the feeling of making someone unhappy when I am able to see it so clearly. I have to decide it separately, I have to work for it, I have to you know, remember it, I have to trace it. Why? Because I am not able to see it. So presently when we are working only in the domain of imagination, when we are not able to see, we have to do you know, labor within us. We have to toil to keep these feelings you know, active in us. Otherwise, we again get misguided by the preconditioning or sensation. So this toiling, this labor in me gets done away with when I am able to see the reality as it is. No more such an extra effort is required. No more I get tired of fulfilling relationships. Presently, when we try to fulfill the relationship without understanding the relation, we get tired. For how much time I can you know, work to keep this person happy. <laughs> Let him go to hell now. <laughs> it is enough. <laughs> Isn't it? This body also, you know, what to do with this body all the time. It keeps on demanding food. It keeps on doing so many things. <laughs> so now when we go to fulfill the other units, be it the human being or the rest of nature, we feel tired because it is not coming naturally to us. And then we feel depressed and then we start motivating ourselves and then we make some extra effort to fulfill. So if you see, all the time we are doing some kind of labor in us. Sram kar rahe hai there is no state of vishram, there is no ease you know, in us, there is no peace. But once I am able to see the reality as it is, then that peace is there in me. So when I am able to contemplate on the, all the feelings, then the imaging gets guided and so on. So with right understanding in completeness, this will be there, there as a state of mind. So I am there with super bliss in me because I am able to see the whole existence as coexistence. I will see the harmony in the nature, thus I am enjoying bliss every moment. I feel satisfied in relationships as well as you know, in terms of physiochemical things. I feel satisfied. You just see that once I am able to see that I am a continuous entity. And continuous means continuous. It is not a matter of 70, 80 years. Even a matter of 70, 80 million years. <laughs> it is continuous. Isn't it? The moment I am able to see this, just to try to imagine this, that you are continuous. So, why should I work for momentary things? Why not utilize the body so that you know, this continuous entity, the craving which is there, gets done away with and I am able to be in a state in which I want to be. Isn't it? So, I am at peace within. I am happy within. And then when I interact with the human being, it is in terms of mutual happiness. When I interact with the rest of nature, it is in terms of mutual prosperity. And I participate in the larger order every time to fulfill the human goal. So when I am doing a job, and I, it is also a participation in the larger order. Isn't it? When I am living in my colony and I am doing something, it is again in terms of fulfillment of the common human goal. So every time I am able to see the human goal, isn't it? And there also I can see that this relates to the universal human order. So it is not subjected to some locality, some nation, some state, some district. It is for the whole humanity, generation by generation. With this understanding, I will to see the whole next generation as my child. It's not only my particular child as my child. I can see that the whole next generation is my child. The whole world is my family. That kind of upliftment of the self you know, does take place. That awakening takes place in me. So this is something that we will be discussing in detail also. <coughs> now if you look at these words, so this I explain, realization is clarity of coexistence in existence, that is the submergence. Understanding is clarity of harmony in the nature, the self-organization, the innateness. So when we open up the diagram of the nature, these words will again occur, but briefly going over it. So, like we have talked about the four <coughs> orders in nature and we can see that they are mutually fulfilling. 
isn't it? I can see the self-organization of every unit. I can see the innateness of every unit. Similarly, I can see the relationship. I can see the natural characteristic that is the participation in the larger order. Now, at the level of thought, presently I might be working only at the level of senses, health and profit. So, senses mean that I try to enjoy happiness out of sensation. This is being you know, guided by senses. Or I try to consume as much as possible, assuming myself to be the body. Or I try to get maximum in exchange of physical facilities. This is you know, being guided by profit. And this is only up to the point when I am not able to see the relationship or harmony or coexistence. When I am able to see this, now the senses get guided by the clarity of relationship, harmony and coexistence. So when I have to select a food, it is not for taste, it is not for health. And why health also? So that the body works as an instrument. Every time I am able to see this. It is no longer that I pick something, eat something and then lament, oh, again it happened. You know? <laughs> I could not, have, I should not have eaten this. <laughs> Similarly, when it comes to consuming, I can see how much I require. Isn't it? How much I require in terms of food, how much I require in terms of clothes, how much I require in terms of uh, house, how much I require in terms of facilities, gadgets, all that I can make out. And the purpose is very much clear. So the physical facility is there for my body and the body is my instrument. This physical facility is an instrument of the body. Unknowingly, we become subservient to the physical facilities. We become instrument of the physical facilities. So we start accumulating, we start indulging, assuming that to be happiness and we spend the whole of life and just thinking in terms of physical facilities. When we go to conduct, for example, in some colleges when the full induction program is not taking place, they will conduct one or two sessions for the students. All the students will be sitting and in one place. So <laughs> there we have to just talk for two hours or one and a half hours. So whenever this situation is there and we have to give a very brief talk. So I ask a few questions to the students. So I ask them, how many of you want to be a billionaire? <laughs> Every student will raise hand. How many of you want to become happy? Everyone will raise hand. Then you ask them, how many of you are able to see that once you become a billionaire, you are happy in continuity? Nobody raises hand. <laughs> and then you ask them, then why do you want to become a billionaire? Then they start laughing. <laughs> So presently the whole thought imagination is somewhat in terms of becoming a billionaire. Every time you know, they will bring out a list. This person is on the top. This person slipped to the fourth position. He was there in the third position previous week. If you open YouTube nowadays, there is a person who starts from this sentence. Why are you not a billionaire? <laughs> you can become a billionaire in a month. <laughs> So this enters into the imagination. Now this information that comes to the imagination becomes a motivation. Now if you talk to the students today, they are most of the time thinking in terms of this, talking in terms of this, isn't it? So the, the thought is misguided by profit, by consumption, by senses, isn't it? Even they consume, assume the health to be consumption. The more I consume, the healthier I am. The more sensual pleasures I take, you know, the happier I am. So if you look at their plans and programs, what is happening? Once I get on a job, first thing I will purchase a car. You know. How much will it cost? At least 20 lakhs. You talk to them, they have imagination like this. Then I will go for touring the whole world. Isn't it? So there is one cousin of mine, she got a job and she made a program of 30 before 30. Before I turn 30, I have to tour 30 countries. You know? <laughs> so this kind of desire that they have. You know? Why? For sensual pleasure. To get more and more sensation through sight, through ear, through nose, through skin, through you know, uh, smell. So they are planning in these terms. And then whenever it comes to pick a job, they look for package. And now the companies are fed up of job hopping. Now when they 
have to hire a person, they look into the profile, profile in the previous two years, how many jobs you have hopped. If you are hopping a job every three months, then you are not fit. Now they are looking more for your stability than your skills. They train somebody for three months, after three months the person has left the job and opted for some other job. Isn't it? Previous one. So we had seen the proposal for happiness to be in a state of harmony. And we said happiness is a feeling. So it can't be quantified. It's qualitative. Then how come it is different from peace, satisfaction, bliss, super bliss? Yeah. See, qualitative means if I want it, I want it every moment. Else I don't want it. So when we are talking about that diagram also, when you said qualitative and quantitative. Uh. So when you talk about the needs of the body, there is a definite quantity associated with it. Mm. When you talk about the needs of the self, if I want it, I want every moment. So quantitative, uh, qualitative and having quality are two different things. right? So I want peace and I want every moment. That's how it is qualitative. But the awakening is different at different levels. So if you call that as quality, it is there. So I am having happiness at the level of expectation, I am having happiness at the level of thought and so on. Isn't it? So if you call that as quality, that is there. But if I want it, I want it every moment. So it is not quantitative. So uh, Sorry, Baya, I have articulated in a different manner. Let me uh, put it this way. So we, say, we have said that there is no less happiness, more happiness, only happiness. Then how come the higher levels like peace, satisfaction, bliss? Yeah. If I am happy itself, okay, I am happy. That's it. But it is there in terms of time, no? whether it is continuous or not. Now, continuous happiness, happiness only I am referring by. Yeah. So when you say continuous happiness, it includes all these. There is no continuity of happiness without super bliss. I am not getting it. Bhaiya. There is no continuity of happiness without super bliss. Uh -huh. So when we say continuity of happiness, it includes all the five. I try to make happiness continuous just by being active at the level of expectation but that is not going to take place because it is ultimately at the level of testing and selecting that may change from time to time. So continuity of happiness is ensured only with realization of coexistence. So here it is only happiness not continuous happiness. Continuous happiness. This is all five. No at the lower level by yeah. Yeah yeah. It is yes, yes. happiness. Yes, happiness. happiness as excitement, as expectation level. No, this is also happiness, but it will not continue unless these four are ensured. It is momentary. Mm -hmm. Bhaiya, how can we... Then it can be called as an excitement. Temporary means excitement, no, Bhaiya. Pardon? Temporary means excitement. It is only momentary. Then how come we are calling it as happiness? Because this is happiness. So, yes, temporary happiness to distinguish we are calling it as excitement. Ah, yeah, Bhaiya. Yes. Now here also if you see, at times I may have the right feeling. At times I may be in harmony. The glimpses. Yeah. So like for example, I may get free of conflict sometime. Mm -hmm. So at times I am at peace within momentarily. There was some conflict in me, it got resolved momentarily. Isn't it? So it could be there even if the activities in block B1 are not activated completely. It could be there in me momentarily, mm, mm. out of some desire, out of some thought, out of some information from outside. May so, I have three difficulties, please. G. Number one, the state activity and dynamic activity, are they simultaneous or one after another? Simultaneous. Two, simultaneous. So can you explain whether the testing and selecting both are happening simultaneously and how do they relate with the happiness which is written on the right side column? Number two, among all these five components of super bliss, starting from happiness, how can a person distinguish whether I am in a state of happiness or peace or satisfaction, bliss or super bliss? Is there any mark of demarcation among these four comp uh, five components? Yeah, so definiteness. And number three, last one. Kindly quote some real life example 
which can explain all these ten activities, either in sequence, <laughs> either in sequence or simultaneously, <laughs> depicting all the things that are written on the right color. Yeah. Without example, it is very difficult to digest this yes. concept. Now it comes to okay, going to the first question. See, so it is simultaneous in a sense that it's not that something has stopped and then something is taking place. So this is also continuous. The dynamic activity and the state activity is also continuous. That's how it is simultaneous. So for example, if you look at the feeling of trust, trust, I am able to see that yes, the other person wants to make me happy. This gets stated in me as a part of right understanding. Now the dynamism associated is that when I think of relating to the other, it is with a feeling of trust. So the dynamism is from either top to bottom or from inside to outside. It is a state activity? Yes. Then how can it? No, see, I am thinking about trust is not a state activity. You are able to see the feeling of trust. You are able to see that every other person wants to make you happy. See means you understand, visualization, see internal feeling. Seeing. Contemplation, it means contemplation. First, first you start from the stating, uh, testing and selecting region, then we move to the upper side. Okay, now if you look at the current state, I am giving, can be reversed. I, I am just giving an example. I am thinking thinking of taking a very uh, sweet dish. I am thinking of taking rasgulla suppose. So it is about the testing part. Thereafter I am selecting which particular brand of rasgulla should I consume. Am I appropriate? Am, am I thinking rightly? It is not in consonance with this diagram because no, you so started with Rasgulla. No, the <laughs> moment should the moment should be from block two to block one or block one to block two. So this diagram depicts how a person with right understanding is active. Now the person who starts with Rasgulla's choice and uh, may not have the right understanding. <laughs> so going by this, now for example, if you talk about food, so there is no example as such for block B1 activities because these are definite universal continuous. So the moment uh, should be ideally from B1 to B2 or B2 to B1? There is nothing like ideally. When I come to understand the reality, I am active like this. Presently, when I am not able to understand the reality, I may be somewhere here. Okay, That part could also be shown here when the arrows can be reversed. I am somewhere active here. So maybe I am there sitting here. right? and somebody comes with a plate of rasgulla. So maybe I selected to observe it, the rasgulla. If I was not seeing there, I would not have seen it. So I selected to see it and then I taste it within. Oh, if I eat it, I will feel happy. It is happening in imagination level, not yes. real. Yes. Okay. Then? So you selected to see the plate of rasgulla and that sight gave you a taste of happiness that if I eat it, and I am going to be happy. Then you went and realized how to have this rasgulla in my mouth. Okay. So it could be either by taking the rasgulla by oneself or by asking the person to serve to you, isn't it? And there you are also comparing. I am diabetic patient. Should I go for rasgulla or not? Now there, if you feel that this taste is superior to health, you go for it. If you compare that taste is not superior to health, health is superior. And, uh, holds a higher priority, you will not go for it. So this comparing is taking place. Now within you, you have some imaging that by having favorable sensation, my life is going to be happy. This is already active. So this gets and, uh, related to that. So maybe even if I am a uh, this diabetic patient, I compare and I see that, I feel that I should be taking the rasgulla. And this is in coherence with my misguided imaging and, uh, for sensation. So I pick the rasgulla, right? I eat it. Now when I go to eat again, the selecting testing is taking place. So this is how I am operating. Then moving upwards again, contemplation, determination. Will not move upward with the rasgulla. <laughs> no, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Why? Give another. Give another example. Give another suitable example where I can move upwards. Yeah. So now, for example, you have a relationship in the family. Pardon? <laughs> no, but 
going this way it cannot go up you know, to contemplation understanding but for example for example let's say i have a spouse in the family you know, and the relationship is not very harmonious for example so i select to have harmonious relationship with the wife or the, with the spouse right then i test something what will happen of me if i if she is not talking to me and i got to talk to her you know it is not being insulted it is not being you know disrespected so all these feelings are there in you we are testing it the earlier occasion when i went to talk and she again shouted on me you know it was very bad <laughs> so i should not be going so this is something that you are doing here and you are also analyzing in addition you know the previous situation you are comparing whether to go to her to talk or whether she should come to talk to me isn't it so this is something that is going on in you you have some imaging here once image is that yes while you know uh, living in a family we should be in harmony so many students shouldn't are there what will people think if somebody comes to our family and sees that this husband wife are not talking what will they say of me right when you go outside what will happen to me so many contradictions are there so many conflicting situations are there at the same time i also have natural acceptance that no and i am related to the other so this natural acceptance is also operating so when i am guided by natural acceptance i try to contemplate what is acceptable to me naturally feeling of relationship or opposition if i am able to see it clearly then i get free of these conflicts because you know i am able to see my relationship with the other but when we are going from here to here it is not going to happen by a single situation i have to contemplate on it in entirety it is not going to happen with a spouse or child or a friend okay so maybe i am able to contemplate on the feeling of trust and i am able to see that every human being wants to make me happy so why to and you know, keep the spouse aside you know include her also <laughs> so i am able to contemplate on the feeling of trust now i am able to see that this other person my spouse is coexisting with self and body self is a conscious entity body is a material entity both are part of nature okay now again this will not ensure the harm understanding of harmony in the nature but this could be a part so before i am able to see the other person as a uh, you know uh, coexisting of self and body i am able to see for myself also so i am able to see that i am a conscious entity coexisting with the material entity this becomes a part of my understanding isn't it and then i am able to see that how come i am in coexistence with the body what is the basis for this how i am self organized how i am the body self organized i start questioning these things and then at some point of time i am able to see the whole and you know, a nature being submerged in space but i gave this example which was a kind of i'll say just a uh uh indicative example it is not going to happen like this that by contemplating on a single relationship you are going to reach realization no <laughs> it is not going to happen okay but when you th- start thinking in terms of relationship when you start thinking in terms of harmony when you start thinking in terms of coexistence then probability is there that you start activating higher level activities you can start thinking uh, about the so, relationship you know yeah no by thinking you will not see now if you just see ki you are there and you are not a part of the body right you are the observer the seer and the, you have to observe yourself why are you not able to see it it is such a simple thing to see i have to see myself i am there with me all the time why i am not able to see myself what is hindering my observation you just try to imagine what is hindering why i am not able to see myself as a separate entity from the body because the moment i decide to see i have so much of testing here what will happen of me it's not that attending uhv3 and and i <laughs> get separated from the body and never come back you know <laughs> so that test of fear is there isn't it also that is it so urgent why should i sit right now so much time is left you know? so it is not such an urgent activity and what will happen if i do not see i am having a good income a good job family is going well why all this you know <laughs> good that if i understand this life is going to be comfortable otherwise also it is comfortable and there is a risk that it becomes uncomfortable if i try to see this this very moment <laughs> so 
you just see that seeing the whole nature submerged in space is a you know such a big thing to do i am not able to see myself as a as a, an entity separate from the body because i have so many doubts and fears in me this is not my priority if it is not my priority and you know, how will it get activated otherwise if you just try to see just assigning the right priority you know is enough to observe the reality but we are caught up in so many assumptions preconditionings that we are not able to assign the priority for example if you look at your imagination your first priority is to preserve the body rest other things will be taken care i can attend another uhv3 <laughs> this body should sustain <laughs> so we have so many priorities in all those priorities this never comes to the priority so i do not have the priority for right understanding so to say isn't it that's how we are not able to see it we have so many obligations we consider ourselves to be so responsible that we have so many other responsibilities to fulfill that this becomes a kind of tertiary to tertiary responsibility and right? <laughs> some time to be taken up in future when time permits all right is totally ignorant yeah that is also a possibility <laughs> Maya. Yeah. yeah. Um, expectation is to get from outside to get it, na? Not only from outside, from inside also. Okay. Expectation. We are expecting. Uh, through expectation, we cannot be happy. But how come you can say that in the expectation layer we do have happiness? I am not saying that through expectation we cannot be happy. We are sitting here with an expectation that I can be happy out of this program. We can so be how happy out of this program. but happiness should be come within na but how come that can be related in the happiness previous slide bhaiya ha ha now here yeah. we have given yeah. no that there is a happiness in that you, we so are, you are ignoring all these arrows <laughs> so if you look at the state of the self when b1 is not activated and we are only active in the domain of imagination they are also primarily at the level of expectation isn't it so the happiness essentially means that the testing gets fulfilled at times so it means natural level. expectations when i am in a natural expectation then i am happy when i am natural expectations then i am in a happy state yeah so expectation yeah but if it is right or not i am not clear so momentarily by chance i am having the right expectation natural acceptation expectation is always right no it's no. similar to natural acceptance natural yeah. expectation we have not used that word <laughs> so you are trying to say expectation guided by natural acceptance yes yeah now that is not continuous because the higher level activities are not activated so unless the higher level activities are na activated my expectation is not going to be guided by natural acceptance all the time momentarily it may be so you mean to say if i reach the realization i can see the happiness in the expectation level is it you can see even much before that you always yeah. see happiness at the level of expectation <laughs> only that it is momentary that moment is excitement na how come we can when it's yeah, something so that called momentary happiness is equated to excitement yes okay that is excitement yes not happiness na no? in fact that momentary happiness is being given a word excitement and to explain it in introductory workshops we are distinguishing between happiness and excitement and there we are equating happiness to be state of harmony and that means continuity of happiness sir uh, i have a doubt yeah. see uh, we are telling that uh, we would be moving from uh, the discontinued happiness from that level we will be going to the super bliss but on the other side only if we reach the super bliss you are telling we would be able to come down and uh, understand each one of them is that what you are trying to tell because from the diagram and what you say i am having a conflict between this being racing from bot uh, bottom to up and that being telling that you have to realize and come down yeah so that diagram is not placed here so when we are in the process of awakening 
and we have not been awakened then these arrows can be reversed we are moving from here to here here and then going gradually to realization so we are in that process so once we have gone to the realization stage you say that it would be internally possible for us for each and every activity that is happening in our self we would be able to differentiate and see them accordingly is that what we are trying to you can see even before that the presently also in your imagination you can see what is testing what is selecting what yeah, is imaging that, what is yeah that is there so uh, the purpose of telling that from there we are coming to bottom uh, i am not able to get this is the state of continuity of happiness what is being presented here is the state of continuity of happiness in the self in that state of continuity of happiness in the self this is the state of activities we are guided like this okay so uh, what i am telling is then uh, what my understanding is correct so you would be in happiness state to start with and that happiness will not be continuous and then as you you uh, mature you go to the super bliss but uh, when we are talking about we say we will see we will do and then we will experience i am always and that has not got any connection with this is it no 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 that is the same thing see seeing means seeing coexistence harmony and relationship okay doing is like one meaning associated is whatever i am doing in the imagination okay but we can associate this dynamic activity also to doing but this is something natural so that's why we are not calling it as doing so doing is here in the imagination and experiencing is both here and here these are all i am experiencing so when i have reached the state of realization then my activity completeness has taken place all the activities are awakened now and then i am happy in continuity then i am in the state of super bliss bliss satisfaction peace and happiness every moment and the happiness has become innate to me i do not have to borrow happiness from outside with this happiness innate to me i am participating outside so if you see on one end i am working for this realization within on the other hand i am expressing it outside and the expression outside goes up to human tradition seeing the eternity as it is ji you are saying yes but happiness not in continuity here from imagination i am going to realization take a mic in the red arrow and yellow arrow yeah rajul bhai has put these colors and <laughs> <laughs> so in fact this can also be made yellow and here it is red so yellow color means in block b1 red means in block b2 nothing particular with that and basically this colors have been chosen so that because if the red color was placed here it would not have been visible <laughs> you can place some other color also <laughs> bhai i would like to add something here can i the color actually you have selected excellently awesome it's rocking serious why because red has a deeper wavelength of penetration from physics point of view yellow has shorter wavelength than red so <laughs> deeper wavelength will have an impact so whenever they choose uh, cancer cell killing ir uh, red laser they will use why because the penetration should be deeper to kill the cell actually these block b ones if all people are living in this block b2 uh, which is coated with this red color definitely it will not give us happiness we need to shift to block b1 yellow which is the super uh, energetic level we call it as mean yellow mean green we give the word mean yellow mean green in solar spectrum because that has an intimate uh, connectivity scientifically this color has a beautiful value really hats off to you in selecting this color thanks sir go by that color for <laughs> now this is a typical example how we associate different meaning to the same sensation 
Somebody is thinking about super bliss. Somebody is thinking about color. Somebody is thinking about you know, B1 and B2. You just see the same sensation being given different meanings. You told one more thing, bottom up. We have in nanotechnology two approaches. Top down, bottom up. <laughs> Cut a tree to a nanoparticle is top down approach. Build a plant, make a tree is bottom up approach. So you are all, you through UHV, you are making us all to raise from bottom to top where there will be no wastage. So in top down, all wastage will come. In bottom up, we call it as self-assembly process, where there is no wastage and formation. The best example is our DNA. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Just a moment. Now here, if you see, it is top down. So, <laughs> so from bottom to up, I'm going like this in the process of realization. With realization, I'm coming like this. So this is with realization, and the other way around could be for realization. But nice, nice. <laughs> now I have to see this within me. So this is just a depiction. This is a language given to the reality. This is me. <coughs> I have to see these activities in me. So I have to find out should I call or do I call this activity as selection or testing? Do I call it as comparing? Or analyzing. So I have to look into my imagination and then make out the activities. Uh, sir, one last uh, clarification. So when we are talking about uh, bottom up and top down, I mean, is it that we are talking from bottom up in self and top down with the relationship with others? No. See, this is in me. I am awakening to the higher level activities. So I am going from bottom to top. Isn't it? Now, when I am at the bottom, happiness is very momentary. As I move up, the duration of happiness gets increased. But when I am at the top, it is continuous. Anna? Yeah, now with this, there is continuity. With this, this diagram shows continuity of happiness and the definiteness and completeness of all the activities. Now, all these activities are definite as well as complete. So, this is the completeness of right understanding which is being depicted here. Nice. So, what we discussed so far, with this we can see how I am the seer, doer, enjoyer and I use the body and instrument for fulfillment of my program. So, you can see that essentially this whole life I have to work for the development. Isn't it? Body is merely my instrument. If I am able to accomplish this, then the purpose of life is fulfilled. Otherwise, I am back to square one. <laughs> Isn't it? So, the body is merely my instrument. The self is central to human existence. So, the core of all our programs is this development of the self. So, now I can start evaluating myself. Bear I just progress. one minute, sorry. Uh, do you mean that when uh, when we are in a state of realization, is it getting manifested in terms of authentication? Yes. That is our dynamic activity? Yes, the manifestation is the dynamic activity. And when we are in a state of understanding, that is manifesting in terms of determination? Yes. And similar for our, both the columns. Okay, yes. thank you. So the body is an instrument of the self and the self is central to human existence. So now, we are again using the word self, but essentially we are talking about me, I. So I am central to this being of the human being, isn't it? This body is my instrument and I have to evaluate every moment whether I am developing or not. So in the 24 hours of a day, how much I am making effort for development of the self and how much time I am spending without developing the self. Am I really developing? You know? So all the work that I am doing, I can keep up whether it is able to awaken the higher level activities. Am I contemplating on the right feeling or my imagination is misguided by naturally unacceptable feelings? Am I analyzing in terms of harmony or am I analyzing in terms of you know, disharmony, contradiction? Am I making a program, my vision of life in terms of coexistence or is it otherwise? Isn't it? Yeah, okay. So now with this, we can again have a look at this diagram. 
सो आई एम देयर आई एम देयर है ना एंड माई बींग इज नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन द बॉडी माई बींग इज नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन एनी अदर एक्सटर्नल एंटिटी आई एम वेरी मच देयर है ना इन कॉन्टिन्यूटी माई बॉडी इज देयर टेम्पररीली द विल टू लिव इज देयर इन मी सो आई वॉन्ट टू लिव द बॉडी डजेंट वॉन्ट टू लिव द बॉडी इज माई इंस्ट्रूमेंट है ना द वॉन्ट टू लिव इज देयर इन मी इफ समबडी कम्स विद अ डैगर टू मी इट्स मी हू फील्स अफ्रेड नॉट द बॉडी आई मूव बैक नॉट द बॉडी है ना आई डिसाइड टू टेक द बॉडी बैक प्रेजेंटेड सो इट्स मी हू वॉन्ट्स टू लिव एंड आई ओनली डोंट वॉन्ट टू लिव आई वॉन्ट टू लिव विथ कंटिन्यूस हैप्पीनेस एंड कंटिन्यूस हैप्पीनेस मीन्स आई वॉन्ट टू बी इन अ स्टेट इन विच आई आई कैन कंटिन्यू and that state is the state of harmony which we can explore we can see that for the body i require physical facility only for three purposes nurturing the body protecting the body and rightly utilizing the body now when i am able to understand this then i can rightly make out the meaning of prosperity so as a responsibility we all have to make out how much facility i need for nurturing the body can we make it out clearly can i make it out for my child can i make it out for my family how much facility i require for nurturing the body how much facility i require for protecting the body how much facility i require for rightly utilizing the body isn't it if i can make out this program correctly then only i can be free of contradictions in me then only i can have the feeling of prosperity in me so when i am having the physical facilities also i can go and see whether this is meant for nurturing the body protecting the body right to trying the body or otherwise if it is otherwise i don't need it so for every facility in the house this is also a task like a task that we had taken up in uhv introductory workshop that i have to count my clothes now we have to make an assessment of all the facilities in the house what are they meant for isn't it what is the purpose behind this now you go to somebody's house and there is a you know uh, brass statue of a person holding <laughs> kind of lance hai you na know, in the hand now what is the purpose of that <laughs> so we can make out why should i go for purchasing a painting for 1 crore rupees what is the purpose of that is it going to nurture my body is it going to protect my body is it going to and utilize my body if not this is not my need and that is a physical facility i might spend so much of time and energy hai you na know, going for that so i have to make out whether i am able to see this clearly so am i able to see that whatever physical facility i require is only for three purposes and not otherwise isn't it this is also some doable task for each one of us we have to make it out my program ji for the example of having an so i am leaving it open you have to make out whether it is nurturing the body protecting the body or right to judge the body <laughs> i just gave an example we can take several other examples that's my question my wife was something for yeah about that's why it was the body painter and the artist yeah now one yeah yeah fine so one argument could be that i purchase this because this is nurturing the other so should i purchase poison and consume so that it is nurturing the other <laughs> in fact what could be the right way to nurture the other that is something that i have to make out i will not start drinking alcohol because so many families are deprived of income <laughs> so yeah again the main mode of uh... main mode of earning for them income for them right so in that aspect if we take yeah there also i have to see what would be the right program for the other person to ensure prosperity it so happens that one part of society accumulates a lot right and then the other part of society try to derive income out of some portion of accumulation if you look at the economics there is something called trickle down theory that if people accumulate more and consume more a part of it will come to the rest of the society which doesn't work because how do i accumulate by exploiting the other so on one hand i am exploiting the other accumulating and then shedding a part of it on the other 
which is not going to make the society prosperous. So we have to make out the right program. <coughs> Again, that was just a you know, example of you know, how we can be not finding out the purpose of the physical facility, but we can keep it open and observe. So I can see for every facility in my house, what is the purpose? And if you start looking at it, you may come to a state when you are able to see that I have so much. What to do with the rest? I require only this much and I have this much. What to do with the rest? That is the state of prosperity when I am able to see this clearly. And then I feel like sharing with the other. Isn't it? And there could be other modes of sharing in place of making somebody produce something which is not a need. I will go and directly try to nurture the other by educating the other. So I can see a clear possibility that all of us you know, can be in a position when after some time we are able to see that we have more than required and rest of the life has to go for developing the self in the society, all the other self. <laughs> this is quite possible and the whole society can come to that stage, isn't it? We can come to a stage where we are able to see that yes, I have more than required, I do not require more than this. Now the rest of the time and effort is going to be spent for developing other human beings. And this is something which is going to be very voluntary. We are not trying to derive any income out of it. Just as a you know, feeling of relationship, we are able to do this very naturally. And as this number grows, you will see that a kind of threshold has come where we are able to nurture each other very naturally. And a new system can emerge. Just by talking about physical facility, it is not going to happen unless we talk about the development of the self. Because there have been efforts in the tradition to distribute wealth. But unless the development of the self is ensured, you know, that becomes a kind of erroneous program. It does not serve the purpose. Now my program is to understand harmony and to live in harmony at all levels. Whatever I do for physical facility is a small part of my program. This one fourth means that there are four levels of living. So human being, family, society and nature of existence. Now in the human being, there are two entities, self and body. And this physical facility is going to serve only for the body. So it is even less than one fourth. Whatever I do for physical facility is less than one fourth of my program. Nice. So to sum it up, human being is coexistence of self and body. I am the seer, doer and enjoyer. I am central to human existence. My existence as a human being. My need is continuous happiness and for this the program is to understand harmony and to live in harmony at all the four levels. Understanding of harmony, feeling of harmony is at the level of self. The body is merely used as an instrument of the self. The transaction between self and body is only in the form of information and is decided by the self. So this is something that we discussed and we will elaborate on it further when we talk about you know, the details in module 2. So any self-reflection? So I think we had to disperse by 5.30, I mean some of us. So till that we can continue with the discussion and then we can accept the session as over and then we can discuss voluntarily. So if any question is there regarding this? Yeah. <coughs> Higher thought hmm. expectations in that table. Yeah, no, this one, this one. So, in this desire, thought, and expectations, where should I uh, match my likes and dis dislikes? They are here in desire, thought. So, at the level of desire, also I have likes and dislikes. At so the level of thought, also I have likes and dislikes. Will my likes and dislikes uh, based on natural acceptance or only based on this desire, thought and expectation? Likes and dislikes are never based on natural acceptance. Okay. So with natural acceptance, I naturally accept certain things and I do not accept certain things. And this natural acceptance is not liking or disliking. Because liking and disliking may change with time. You like maybe and Western music some time back, now I started liking Indian music, classical music. So this may change. Okay, when we say physical facility, what is the role of gift, which is a rightly acquired wealth? And then it's gifted to somebody to share some feelings. 
but it may not be nurturing protecting or rightly utilizing my body how do we see that so you have to transform the gifts so that it can nurture or protect or rightly utilize the other same example of this uh, <laughs> kind of uh, picture or statue somebody suppose somebody is giving uh, with a feeling of a relationship to me so it is not nurturing to me protecting or at least utilizing can i attach some feelings to that yeah so now associating the feeling takes place only when i am not understood the right thing otherwise the feeling is innate to me i can see that this is a material object made up of some material and it can have some right utilization so i can say to the other that if you make some utensil out of this <laughs> it can serve the purpose better <laughs> so this time when we were gifted you know some garment in the beginning we were given a towel so that served the purpose better <laughs> earlier people were given bouquet it cost 250 rupees or something and just you know was of no use after 10 minutes now people are giving planters so it is actually at least serving some purpose so we have to see how we can transform all this